Welcome to my small workshop. I'm small workshop guy, Paul Carlson. Today I want to do a real quick session on an update on my workshop apron. I've done two videos previously and in those videos I kind of talked about the apron I used and what I carried in it, but I've gone to a third apron now and I'll discuss why the third apron uh, as I get into it but the apron I'm using is a Ready Wears. It's the same one that Jonathan Katz Moses is always wearing. I really like it. I can load it up with a lot of stuff and because of the padding on the shoulders and how easy it is to get on, uh, it's very, very comfortable uh, even if you load it up with a lot of heavy stuff. It's also made out of a waxed cotton and if the waxing is what gives it some strength, particularly in the stitching and so forth. So, what do I carry in it? Uh, again, this is a little bit more of a look at it. I'm going to lay it out here on my workbench, and then I'll take things out and kind of discuss them one by one very quickly if I can. So let's start with uh, a little, you know, L-square. Uh, this is the Veritas. Really like it. Got different measurements on it. I carry in this top pocket here uh, a card scraper because I'm always needing that in lieu of sandpaper. I have two click gears. One's a click gear uh, 1000 9 millimeter and then beside that I have a click gear 1000 5 millimeter. This is when I use my Inkra marking devices or when I want a really small line but the 9 millimeter is what I use the majority of the time because the lead doesn't break. If I need it really fine, I use this or I use my uh, marking gauge. So let me just lay things out here as, as I go. Card scraper, little L square, click gear 1000s. You'll see click gear 1000s in the hands of quite a number of content creators. All right, going from this side to this side. I have a ShopFox uh, digital calipers, not digital, analog calipers. I much prefer that over digital. No batteries to maintain. Uh, no having to set out a zero point. You set it up once and it's perfect. I carry that in the strap of the apron in a holster. The holster is actually from Sterrett. I think the holster cost me more than the uh, calipers did and they are uh, very useful all the time all right uh, i carry some pliers needle nose pliers i have the milwaukee flashlight and it has uh, two different you can arrange it different ways by pulling the shield down or up pretty expensive flashlight but when you get to the age I'm at, with age-related macular degeneration in one eye, being able to grab a flashlight really quickly out of your apron and use it is, is pretty important. I carry a Milwaukee marking knife, a marking, uh, mag magic marker type of thing, with, you know, with a nice stuff. Don't put that on any work pieces where you got to do some sanding and stuff, but for rough cuts and things. Obviously, a critical thing in any woodworker's uh, repertoire is his scribing knife. Now, this is what tore up my two previous aprons, and this is why I went to the waxed apron where it wouldn't tear it up. But then I found these little leather pouches, a set of four of them of different sizes on Amazon, and having bought those, I've eliminated the issue of my sharp items tearing up the seam of my apron. So if you're going to wear a workshop apron and carry sharp things, this is what I call my garbage chisel. I don't like to tear up my good chisels when I'm doing things like prying open uh, paint cans and stuff because I can't find the paint can opener. So I use this for a lot of things, scraping glue, things where I tear up the blade I wouldn't want to tear up my good chisels. So these little leather pouches are great. So I've got those. I carry uh, another one, and this is usually problematic, you know, for putting little holes before you're going to drill. So that's very, very handy. There's actually a fourth part of, of these uh, little leather pouches. 
I have a Stanley uh, knife. I kind of use this in lieu of carrying a box cutter because it's more, it's smaller and easier to get to and folds up and very inexpensive. I carry my uh, combination square. In this case, there it's a Starrett, little uh, six inch. Uh, you know, you use your combination square so often Although if you drop it often like I do, then maybe you want to go with the less expensive ones. But if, if you're going to use it constantly and if it's one of your primary tools, uh, Jonathan Katz Moses actually put a little holster on here to hold his uh, combination square. But anyway, I really like it. The lack of glow or glare on the ruler and the preciseness of the marks on the ruler and the ability to adjust it and have it hold. I. I really like that Starrett. Normally, I'm against spending a lot of extra money for something that you can do for a lot less. I carry uh, something that's very helpful to me. Uh, I'm constantly needing for my uh, drill uh, a different set of items, and so I just carry a whole variety of items, including little Allen wrenches to adjust my, uh, my screws here and to adjust, you know, for the offsetting of the screws. So I carry a lot of little Phillips and uh, Torx uh, items in there. I like having that available instead of always going over and saying, I've got the wrong screw bit, i got to go get another one. I carry, and I probably said I carry a zillion times, but uh, obviously my little feeler gauges come in very, very, very handy when you're trying to figure out where your joints are not coming together or to make various adjustments. Let's see, I have some wax, so I can wax the bottom of my planes, my table saw, things of that nature. I have an eraser because I'm constantly marking things in the wrong place and so I need to get rid of them. And uh, what else? Measuring tape. And then I like to carry a hammer right in the hammer slot and one that has both a soft edge on it as well as a hard edge. So that is my typical, uh, I have a little clip on here that makes it easier to get the uh, measuring tape on and off. So that's what I carry. It seems to be uh, a lot of things that I need as I move around the workshop and I don't want to constantly be going back to different tool walls or tool areas to get these primary things. So uh, I think my previous two aprons would have worked just fine. Uh, my problem with them was the stitching getting cut, but that was because I was putting sharp chisels and, and marking uh, scribing knives and various things in there if you get these little leather things. I'll put a link to most everything down below when I get a chance. This will be uploaded first and then I'll come back and work on the description down below. That's my uh, apron. Be interested in your comments as to what you might store in your apron that is different. Uh, let me do a little close up here. So again, card scraper, L square, feeler gauges, wax, eraser, click gear 1000 pencils, Calipers, needle nose pliers, combination square, Stanley, flashlight, a marking uh, device from Milwaukee, little uh, garbage chisel, marking scribing knife, hole punch, Stanley uh, knife, and my hammer, and my variety of screws, and uh, and drills and things for my powered uh, drill driver. Hope that helps you. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.